Good morning, Cruise by Mandy here. It is a sea day on the Royal Princess as we are headed south, headed towards the equator in about 48 hours. I wanted to give a quick glimpse of what it can look like on board on a sea day on pretty much any cruise line, but specifically with Princess Cruise Lines today. This is the Royal Princess. Um, she is having her inaugural voyage across the equator for this particular sailing, so we're very excited about that. We will be crossing the equator in about 48 hours as one of our three days at sea headed towards Brazil. As you can see in the background, um, we have a lot of banners around the piazza or what you might call the atrium area depicting carnival, some of the carnival scenes. Because what we have is the, um, you have carnival coming up March 5th. Yesterday in Trinidad and Tobago, we learned a lot about carnival. Carnival, carnival, however you pronounce it, wherever you're from. I'm Texan, so I know I pronounce everything pretty much Texanish. But the banners around here have been changing in the piazza, getting us ready for the different cultural experiences that we can experience here on Princess Cruise Lines, or Princess Cruises. The Royal Princess right here is a beautiful, beautiful ship. I know I have several people booked on her for Alaska. She's going to be doing the northbound, southbound excursion, um, northbound, southbound itineraries this summer for Alaska, probably the largest cruise ship to do those types of itineraries going between Vancouver and Whittier. But I want to take, give you a quick glance around of what you can be doing on a typical sea day. Um, first of all, I could be having something at the bar already, They're already, already open. Um, instead, what I did is the International Cafe that I don't have in view right here, I have already ordered from my coffee card, my coffee already have the, uh, always like the double chocolate mocha. So my coffee card has that. I could be relaxing, having a beverage. I could be back there in the casino, as you see. Um, I would be losing money. Being a math major for my undergrad, I understand that's losing money. I could be waiting until 11 a.m. and visiting Alfredo's. Alfredo's is right here on board. Yummy, yummy um, Naples style pizza that they make the way they do in Italy, in Naples. It's very, very yummy. Um, some different antipastas, salads, and things like that. That's usually really good. Uh, let's see down here. People hanging out. There is a spa demonstration going on down there on deck five. In the far corner, you can see where the 24-hour International Cafe is. If you want your Egg McMuffin, your pastries, just whatever you would like, 24 hours a day, depending on time of day, you've got that as an option. Lots of people hanging out, reading. Um, in the far back corner over there, you can see a photography class going on by the um, photo department here on board, which has been excellent. You can actually buy a photo package that includes all of your digital prints as well as your prints. I have definitely gotten my money's worth out of that already in the photography department. Um, so that's been excellent. Each port of call, hop off, I've got, got the formal nights, the casual nights, and the photographers have been just excellent. But lots of things going around on right here in the piazza. You see the elevators over there going up and down. But decks five, six, and seven right here is where it's usually all happening on the Royal Princess. So for those that I have booked on the Royal Princess, you will enjoy that. And as I mentioned earlier, um, usually between 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. we have Alfredo's open. So just a great place to have a sit down lunch um, or dinner or when we've come back from short excursions and didn't want to go anywhere. So just a quick glimpse around of the happening area here on board Royal Princess. Again, in about 48 hours, we will be crossing the equator. There will be a very special ceremony for that. So research at crossing the equator on cruise ships or King Neptune, and you will see, you know, you ask for the blessings for a safe crossing of the equator, that imaginary bump in the road, because sometimes you might actually feel that way. So Cruise by Mandy, signing off, just giving you a, an idea of what a sea day can be. They are my, these are my favorite days of a cruise because I can relax and sleep in late and just enjoy. Cruise by Mandy, signing off.